In order to understand the finite automata related concepts, you need to understand the terminology first. You should know what are symbols, what is an alphabet, what are strings, what are languages, and so on. A language is a set of strings. For example, language L has strings 01, 0101, 010101, and so on. Each of these strings is a sequence of symbols. In other words, you use symbols to make strings. Strings like 01, 0101 are sequences of symbols 0 and 1. When you put all of your symbols in a set, you call it an alphabet. You represent your alphabet with a Greek letter, sigma. So, in this example, sigma, or the alphabet, has symbols 0 and 1. So, we are putting it in a form of a set, and we are calling it an alphabet. Similarly, we can have another alphabet of all the letters of English language. We can use this alphabet, in other words, we can use the symbols of this alphabet to make the words of English language or in our terminology make strings of English language. So for example, our language L has strings a, at, bat, cat, hat, what and so on. So we have covered two examples. We have a language of strings made using symbols zeros and ones and we have a language made with the strings using symbols a, b, c, d up to z. Our language is a set of strings a, a string is a sequence of symbols. Symbols we have, for example, zeros and ones, or A's, B's, C's, and D's. And when we put our symbols in the form of a set, we call it an alphabet and represent it using the Greek letter sigma. So our alphabet is a finite, non empty set of symbols. Now we introduce another terminology. If our alphabet has symbols 0 and 1, then sigma star will be set of all finite binary strings because our alphabet is binary alphabet. In other words, we can say sigma star has all the possible strings that can be made using symbols of sigma which are, in this example, 0 and 1. So in the set of sigma star, we have put strings of length 0, strings of length 2, strings of length 3, and so on. We have also put the string of length 0. In finite automata, we use Greek letter epsilon to represent empty string empty string that has nothing in it. In other words, it has length 0. So our sigma star has all the possible strings that can be made using the symbols of sigma of all the lengths. So when we put the star on the sigma, here we have put a star on the set. So we can write sigma star like this also. Now we can describe another language. Language L1 has this description in mathematical form. We can say language L1 has x which belongs to this sigma star. In other words, all the possible strings that can be made using symbols zeros and ones with a condition such that, this pipe symbol represents such that, x has even number of zeros and even number of ones. So our language has all the strings of zeros and ones that have even number of zeros 
and even number of ones. So for example, our language will have a string that will have two zeros and two ones, another string that has four zeros and two ones, another string that has two zeros and four ones. Similarly, we can say empty string is also part of this language because empty string has zero zeros and zero ones. When we have zero zeros, we can say we have even number of zeros. When we have zero ones, we can say we have even number of ones. Zero is considered even number. So when we say even numbers, they are zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. The description of the language does not mention anything about the order of these symbols. It only mentions the number of the symbols, even number of zeros and even number of ones. So we can have zeros and ones in any order as long as they have even number of zeros and even number of ones, they are part of this language. So now we can further define our language. We can define a language as a set of strings which is a subset of sigma star. Sigma star has all the possible strings that can be made using the symbols of sigma whereas our language has some of these strings so we can say a language is a subset of sigma star and this is the definition of language. And this is it for this description and definition of the terminology of symbols, alphabet, strings and languages.